I need you in bed right now. I said I'm coming. No! Okay, just give me 10 minutes, I'll be with you. 10 minutes. Oh, yes, 10 minutes. 10 minutes, I'm coming. <clears throat> I said I'm coming. What, what is your problem? We're outside. What, what are you trying to do? Uh -uh. I said 10 minutes. I'm coming. <clears throat> A man must be defined by his priorities. Not by his desires Cause a real man Make his wife Feel like a priority Mommy, in all honesty, I am tolerating all those excuses because of you What happened? I don't know what he's doing out there all by himself At this time of the night Outside? Yes! I I want to go. I want to go, mommy. I want to go. I'll just pack my things and leave this house. Don't do that. I'm not begging anyone to marry me. I was on my own and he came for me. Why is he treating me as if I'm a log of wood? You're too fine to frown. Eh? You're too fine for this, okay? Let me go and talk to you. I need him in bed. I am running. I need him to come to bed. So this is what you have reduced yourself to. Are you sure you know whose son you are? Mom, can you please leave me alone? You should be ashamed of yourself. What are you doing out here? So at this age, you can't make up your mind about what you want. One minute you want, one minute you don't want. You're not sure what you what, what you can't make up your mind. I don't know what you're talking about. You know what I'm talking about. What are you doing here? What are you sitting here waiting for? You should be in your bedroom with your wife. Go to your room. Your wife needs you. Go to your room and stop disgracing your father's, your late father's spirit. I'm not disgracing anybody. I'm just here because I, I can have someone living in my house out there. What right? is your business? This ungodly hour. What is your business? A woman that you have divorced, you can't take your eyes off her. Why won't you take your eyes off that stupid girl and concentrate on your family? Mom, can you please leave me alone? Don't be silly. Don't be silly. You should be ashamed. Go to your room. Go to your room. You did your please man. leave Go me. Go to your room and stop disgracing this family. Hey!
take care of yourself too. And please drive carefully, okay? No problem. Philip, open the gates properly for me. Huh? Are you deaf? Open the gates. Where are you coming from? Where are you coming from? I am talking to you, you don't walk out on me. Where are you coming from? What right do you have to ask me that question? Who? <laughs> Wait a minute, my father? Who the hell are you again? As long as you remain in this house, you, I have the right to know your whereabouts. What do you mean, what, what right do I have? And who is that, that, that lunatic that dropped you off by this time of the night? Is, 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 is something wrong with him? Well, if you must know, the lunatic is my boyfriend. Deal with it. And listen, I am in this house because of your selfish political condition. You don't have any right to ask me where I went to. I am going to call him back to come take me back to where I am coming from. Since you won't have me, uh, don't, 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 don't touch my back. Don't call. Don't call. Just, you can go inside. Don't call now. Just go inside. Go and rest. You take this love for granted, you must pay. Cause the vacuum, where she covered, nobody can cover it. Oh, you see this vacuum. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Please. Oh, please, I'm not in the mood for anything. You're not in the mood for what, Thomas? Why, why are you shouting? What? Because I've refused to speak all this while? You and your mother lied to my parents and I that you are divorced. That is exactly That is, is not true. You sneak out all the time to go be with her. Now, let me ask you a question. Why are you coming back at this time of the night? What, what were you waiting for outside? I was receiving fresh air. That's, what That's not true, Thomas. Not true. You know what? You and I, we are done. I am fed up. I am too big for this kind of treatment. Idiot. First thing tomorrow morning, I am leaving this house. Rocks. To hell with your dick. To hell with your dick. Look. This, I came prepared. Watch me satisfy myself tonight. Rubbish. To hell with your dick! And I'm leaving tomorrow. Don't, don't beg me. Don't even try it. Is ready, babe. I'm done. I'm done. I'm right. But you asked me to make you more plantain and egg. Yes, I thought I needed them. Apparently, I didn't. So, why are you doing this? I didn't even take much time preparing it. Why are you rejecting it? I didn't say you wasted any time, did I? I didn't say that. So you made me go through more stress preparing this plantain and egg. And now you don't want to have it anymore. Why? You're my wife. It is your job to cook for me. Or has the status quo changed? Has it? So what do I do with it? I'm off. <clears throat> See you before lunch. Um... What, what? what do I make for you for lunch? Lunch, uh, I don't know what I want yet. I'll call you before noon to let you know what I want. My suitcase. Oh, my bad. Oh, it's not in the kitchen, it's upstairs. Sorry. Mm. Here we are. Oh, no, please. Take me outside, BG.
Could it more? Where are you? Mama? How can you come into Nigeria without letting me know? No, 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 I'm not saying it's a problem. I'm just saying that... I'm sorry, Mom. Mom, I said I'm sorry. <clears throat> so... Of course, of course I know, I know. I said I'm sorry, I'm coming to pick you. Is that fine? All right, all right, mom. All right. Hello, babe. Yeah. My mom is in the country. Exactly what I said. I... But please, I don't want you to bother about that. She just called me now. I didn't know she was coming into the country. Yeah, just um, get everything ready. And please. And salad soup. That's her favorite. And favorite as well, okay? Mm. No, 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 I'm on my way to the airport to pick her. God. Where do I start from? Such a gentle man. Oh, I'm so proud really? of raised one. <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, God. Come on. Come on. Who is he? You got another security man? Oh, yes, mom. You said you didn't like Adamo because he was always sleeping on duty. So, why is your hair like this? Why are you looking scruffy? Ma Ma Sorry, my Malians, man. Excuse you. Malians is a style, man. Um, mom, he he's doing okay. Uh, at least he doesn't sleep on duty. Get my stuff from the. Okay, oh, hey, 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 hey! Don't don't touch my luggage. What, mom? You want me to carry that? Where is that thing you call a wife? She should come get it. Or she didn't hear me coming. I'll, I'll get her. Uh, uh, I said, don't touch my luggage. Sorry. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that say. Oh, is it that you didn't hear us driving or you're just pretending? Go and, and, and welcome my, my mother, your mother in law, that you have not seen her for over a year. Babe, I'm just trying to fix what. Will you just doing? stop that nonsense and go and welcome my mother? Okay, let me drop Will it. You drop it. Drop it here. Okay. Go at once. I'm sorry. Well, I need to Can you just leave everything? I said go at once. Okay.
My, my, my name is Philip, man, the new GM, man. The new GM. I man. didn't ask you. Mom, why are you still there? Making sure that this thing does not touch my belongings. Good afternoon, ma. You're welcome, ma. Madam. It took your husband to come and call you. So to come outside to say hello to me. You didn't hear I was coming home. I, I, I'm sorry, ma, but I was in the kitchen. I was trying to fix you something to eat. <laughs> it's not been long he told me you were at the airport. Please fix it. Get my luggage. How was your journey, ma? Sorry. house. You mean you people don't have food? She's busy. I hope you haven't brought me back here to starve me to death. I'm not starving you. She's busy. She, the food was I have been hearing this the last two hours. You knew I was coming. Mom, you just called me from the airport. So what? What's difficult in making food? Please, if you have nothing for me to eat, that's fine. Just take me to a good restaurant so I get something to eat. I'm hungry. Oh, God. All right, Mom, just a few minutes. We'll be ready in a moment, please. Few minutes? Few if minutes. If that food doesn't come, I'll go out and look for something to eat. Right, Mom, calm down. What, 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 is, what is going on? Why is the food not ready? I called you as soon as she called me that she was at the airport. Why is the food not ready? What is going on? You must calm down. As you can see, I'm the only one in the kitchen. We are not two. Oh, I should have married a thousand wives just because I need urgent food. Thomas, I am preparing two soups. Different soups. Mm. Two different swallows. Just... Oh. Don't just add to my stress, please. I'm... Um. I am adding to your stress by telling you that my mother is hungry. Your mother-in-law! Is that what you're saying? No, is that what you're saying? I'm almost okay. I'm sorry. I'm deeply sorry. I'm almost done with the food. In a few minutes, I'll bring you to the dining. Please. Better. What is this? Your favorite, Mom. Uh, hey, hey, excuse me. So because it's my favorite, I should eat it at gunpoint? Mom, no one is forcing you to eat it. It's, I mean, I just thought because you've been abroad for a while now, you've been craving for your favorite you meal. You don't assume. You ask. Did you ask me? Okay, Mom, it's fine. 
Can you eat? You're hungry? I'm hungry, so I should eat something I have no appetite for. Mom, you are hungry. That's what so I'm saying. So what? Can you just eat? I'm that? hungry, so what? I'm not eating this. Uh, sorry, Ma. What would you like to eat? Salad. And moi moi. Mom. Um, I, uh, I, I have beans in the kitchen. So I can make uh, moi moi for you, but I don't have condiments for salad. I'll have to run to the market to get some. So run to the market already. It's okay, just drive to the mall and get it done. She's still here! I'm sorry, ma. Sorry. Mom, I really think you should taste it. Oh. I will not. It's alright. I will have mine. This is really delicious. Enjoy. Saying that you're taking all the time in the world, I decided to go into the restaurant to get my mom something to eat. She can't be left starving. Tom, this was what I was trying to explain to you. I knew it was going to take me time to get the salad condiments. I wanted to get some from from the mall, but you didn't even let me speak. I'll just take it back. Tom? Take it back. She's already eating. You want her to have a running stomach or something? Nothing else. For now. For 
for now. For now. Good morning. Good morning. I am, um, I want you to take this. Call those your friends that normally come here to look for you. Okay. Share this amongst them, okay? Thank you, madam. But now I'll finish it. They call me finisher. This thing is very small. I'll finish it. I don't, I don't need to go anybody. F Philip, Philip, it's a whole lot in there. Call them and share the food amongst them. Madam, if I don't finish it, I will keep it. Let her warm it. But not even I will still warm it. I will warm it. Salad. Salad. Yeah. Madam, don't worry, I've been fasting. It, it, it's okay, whatever you Hello, wish to belle. do. Hey, well, God bless you. Hey, God. Okay, I was sleeping and the Lord showed me in the vision that I feel this morning there shall be manners from heaven. Hey, there shall be, be manners. I go, Madam, if you eat anything, know that you ate fly. The other day, I was doing bed there. I said, I'm going to give me meat. I'm going to give me meat. I'm I love you. I love you. I love you. I Why are you not sleeping? I don't feel like sleeping. <sighs> what is the problem? I don't have a problem. You are wide awake in the middle of the night when you ought to be sleeping. What is the problem? Tom, can you just let me be? You must not stress me every time. I just told you that I'm fine. I would advise you go back to bed and let me be. <sighs> is that what you want? I thought it's what I want. <laughs> hey. <clears throat> tired. I don't know what to do. I, I am broken. Can you please come down and speak to me? What is the problem? It isn't everything. Everything about my marriage is a problem to me. And if care is not taken, I will go into depression. No, 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 no. no. Do not mention depression. Just calm down, okay? Can you explain to me what exactly is the problem? Sonia, take a good look at me. Do I look like a slave? 
now? Do I look like a maid? That is the way I am being treated in my own husband's house. From mother and from son. The mother wants me to marry her son the same way she married her husband. It's hurting. I don't even know what to do anymore. How am I supposed to cope? I don't even have time to rest. I don't have a time of my own. It just feels like I'm living my life for them. I don't, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I do all the chores in the house. I don't even have time to rest. But you know you can still grab some rest when you're done with the house chores. Did I hear you say rest? How do I rest? My husband doesn't eat stale food. It is from fire to the dining table. How do I rest? Wait a minute. You, you mean you can't cook, put it in the refrigerator, microwave when he wants to eat for him? My husband won't touch it. Eh? He wouldn't even as much as go close to the food. I cook every day of my life, three times in a day. I cook morning, I cook night, I cook no, I cook. It feels like I cook in my dream. I don't know what to do. And now his mother has added to the whole situation. She is a burden to my family. She lives in the house with us. I cook for mother, I cook for son, every day of my life. I don't even have time to rest. All I'm asking is, is peace. I'm asking for my freedom. I just, I just want to live like every normal woman in her husband's house. You know, that you shall get, okay? And um, I want you to know that there is no problem without a solution. I said death. And in this case, it hasn't gotten to that point yet. So I believe we can still work something out. Okay? I promise you, we don't always try to advise people to go for separation. No. We can actually invite your husband over and talk to him. I believe maybe we can find a solution. Yeah? I'll try as much as possible to speak to your husband. And I hope he will improve. And you mentioned depression. No way. I do not have to pull yourself together. If you don't have to get to that breaking point, getting depressed? No. It's not that serious, darling. Calm down. Can you stop crying? Just okay? I'm just calm tired. down. I'm just tired. Listen, you need to wipe your tears. Is he? My mother raised my sister and I without a single maid. So I don't see any reason bringing a maid into my house. I will never do that. Why? Because that would be, that would be laziness. It will make her lazy and I do not want a lazy woman as a wife. Mr. Tom. Are you aware that rich families like yours hire the service of a chef who cook their foods, all their foods, laundry men who do their laundry, and maids who help out in domestic chores? Are you aware? Oh, well, that's their ideology on how to run their homes. But for me, I have a different perspective on these things. Listen, Mr. Tom, our job here is to fish out those things that bring problems in marriage and try to address it from the root properly. Your wife is complaining. She's no longer a happy woman. I heard you don't eat stale food. You make your wife cook three times in a day. In this 21st century? Come on. It's not fair. You see, Mrs. Marriage Counselor, 
There is no formula for marriage. So let everyone stick to what works for them. My mother cooked three times more sometimes for my father. So if my wife cannot do the same, then she has no business answering my wife. Mr. Tom. I, I, I believe we are done with this conversation. Mom, the files you gave me last week, I can't find it. You kept them by the shelf. They're still there. You sure? Yes. Thank you. Okay. And, and Mom, I wanted to ask a question, yeah? Mm -hmm. When Dad married you, how many maids or house help did you have? Maids? Mm -hmm. We didn't have any. Really? No, we didn't. <laughs> Okay, uh, another question. Uh, is it that you couldn't afford to pay a maid? Or, I don't know, just wanted to ask, oh, to be sure. I married your father a rich man. Mm. Your father, mm -hmm. my late husband, bless his soul. Yeah. He was the first. The first. The very first to ride a Mercedes Benz. In fact, a Mercedes 200 in the whole of our neighborhood. 200 messages. Yes, yes. In fact, we were the talk of town at that point. Mm. So if we wanted 100 maids, we'll get it. I really wanted to be able to take care of my children, your sister, yourself and your sister, until you became teenagers. Mm. But what do you ask? Oh, nothing really. I just, um, you know, someone somewhere in this house is uh, complaining of doing all the work. Complaining? Yes. Now that technology has evolved, you have washing machines, you have trees extractors, Dry you have cleaner. microwave and all that. Somebody's complaining. Complaining. <laughs> Who is, by the way? Well, you just that never thing mind. you call a wife, I'm sure. <laughs> I warned you. I warned you. She's complaining. That butcher where she came from, do they as much as have electricity? I think they use solar system. They use Guinea. She oh. doesn't even know what that is. I warned you. Um, Mom, let me just um, get the file. <laughs> <laughs> Thomas, look what you've gotten yourself into. Mom, I can hear you. I, of course I want you to hear. You've not answered my question. What is this? Okay, fine. I had a hectic day today in my office. Too many couples to attend to. A lot of issues, you know. Like, I know I wasn't going to be able to enter the kitchen when I get back. So I rushed to a nearby restaurant and got, and got us this for dinner. I'm exhausted, please. Sonia, can you hear yourself? Can you? Can you, can you listen to yourself talk? A married woman. You even call yourself a marriage counselor. So tell me, what counsel do you give to the young girls that come to your office for advice? How to be lazy and shy away from their marital responsibilities, right? Oh my God, you are so unbelievable. Like, I can't believe after explaining all this to you, you're still raising your voice. Like, why are you raising your voice right now? What's the meaning of that? 
Why are you raising your voice at me right now? What do you mean by why am I raising my voice? That my wife will sit in her office from morning till evening. She cannot cook food for me. She cannot prepare food for her own husband. No, Tommy. Instead, you prefer ravishing my money on food. I don't even know how or where they prepared it. It's a shame, Sonia. It's a big slap on your face that you can't cook food for your own husband. I don't want you to get this clear tonight. I will never eat any food you bought from outside again, starting from tonight. Excuse me. Ben! Ben! Listen to me, Fabian. You have no right, no stupid right, to tell me that I must always cook for you. No fucking way I will always cook for you, all right? Sonia, you are my wife. I married you 100% according to the tradition where I come from. Women cook for their husbands, so it's your duty to cook for me in this house. And how daft can you be? No, listen to yourself. Fabian, hear yourself. You dare talk to me about tradition in this modern time? Like, who does that anyway? What stupid tradition are you talking about? Now I'm asking you! It's, it, it's my originality. I, I, I can't change it. Yes, I can change it. It's my originality. Okay. I put it to you then. Now in those days you were referring to, men also cook for their wives. Oh yes. Same way women contribute to the upkeep of the family. Financially, it's a two-way thing. 50-50. You do yours, I do mine. Alright? So don't talk to me about cooking in this house. Oh, I see. You can also cook. I see. Now you're talking. So you want me, your husband, to enter the kitchen and cook for you because you also contribute to the financial upkeep of this marriage. So make it make sense. Where did I go wrong? No, correct me if I am wrong. Sonia, as long as I remain the head of this family, I will never try such. And I put it to you right now. I announce it before your face that moving forward, you are to eat food but from restaurants outside. I will not. Because I, Sonia, will never enter this kitchen again to cook for you. I will not. I cannot come and kill myself. I will not eat any food you bought from outside again. You better deal with it. I won't it. try it, Sonia. You will eat it. Sonia, it's your duty. And it's your job to that, cook for me in this house. That's and you so must. Serious. I married you. No You're my wife. Tom. What is it? I need you and your mother to know that things have changed. We are no longer living in a primitive world. This is a chat age for crying out loud. Yes, the world has changed. As a matter of fact, changed for good. So a lot of things are more easier now than it was then. So you have no reason to complain. You should also know that I am not your maid. I am not your house help. I am not a slave. I am your wife. Except you don't want me here anymore. Well, what is that supposed to mean? I need a maid. And a chef as well. Since you and your mother would not have stale food, there should be someone in the kitchen making your meals and receiving salary at the end of the day while I concentrate on other family issues. You lie. So long as my mother raised my sister and I without a maid in this house, you will not raise my kids was without any cooking? maid or help in this house. Tom, your mother was not cooking morning, day, night, every day on a daily basis, was she? Tom, I am tired. Yeah. I'm broken, I don't even know what to do. I am tired. I would rather go back to my father's house than stay here and be treated this way. Oh, that's fine then. Prepare to go back to your poverty stricken father's house. <clears throat> Tom. Yeah. Lunch time. Yes, yes, and um, 
I'm going to my house. All right, so. I told you I don't eat out, yeah? Oh, yeah, you told me about that. So, yeah, I'm going home to eat. You mind coming? Sure, I wouldn't mind. All right, let's go in your car. Let's go. After you. As for my mom, my friend, Fabian, he is a bosom friend of mine and colleague. Mm, I see. Please sit down. Thank Please you. sit down. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> you came for lunch? As usual. Unfortunately, it's not ready. It's not ready? Why? Oh, just a moment. It's okay. You're welcome. Thank you. Um, so how's work? Fine, ma'am. Uh, can I get you some water? No, I'm fine. Do you want a drink? No, I'm okay. You don't want anything? Yes. Okay. Thank That's you, ma'am. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> like? I'm enjoying myself. Good. I swear. And now, I know why you come back every day to eat. <laughs> now, I also know the reason you don't eat outside. That's a good sign. Your wife is a very fantastic cook. Hmm. You could say that. Now, besides my mother, she's about the best cook. Obviously. And you know what? Any food you see me eat, straight from the fire to the table, Okay, hold on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you mean your wife cooks three times every day? Not exactly. She cooks not just three times, but as many times as I want her to cook. And I don't eat any stale food, no refrigerated food, no preserved or warmer, nothing. All cooked and served. <laughs> unbelievable. <laughs> this is unbelievable. But it's true. <laughs> it is true. I'm blessed. Tom, you really don't know how blessed you are. Your wife is such a great cook. Oh, well, my mother is a great cook, so that I wouldn't have ended up with a woman who doesn't know how to cook as a wife. Wait, what? Do you mean what you said about your wife cooking three times in a day? Yeah, well, yes. My wife doesn't work. As a matter of fact, I stopped her from working so that she can take care of the house properly. So I don't see any reason she would not cook as many times as I want her to and do other things, if you understand what I mean. <laughs> Anyways, you're such a lucky man. You're blessed. Oh, well, yeah. I wouldn't see that I wouldn't see that as luck. You see, I am the man of this house. I provide everything needed here. You understand me? So any woman who doesn't do my bidding, I don't see what she will be doing in my house. Anyways, I wish to be like you. <laughs> Getting to the car, let's go back to work. You're already doing good, but then as you make your bed.
that job of yours is causing you your responsibilities at home, your marital obligations, then I'll be left with no other choice than to stop you from working. Hmm? I'm sure you heard me right. You say? What did I just you say? You heard me say clearly. That? Really? My dear, you have no such rights. Listen to me. Before you married me, I made it clear to you from the get-go that my job is my life dream. I mean, my passion. And under no circumstances will I ever quit the job. So, you listen to me. You quit tripping. Okay? Yes! Did you tell me it was going to stop you from doing your job as a woman? What? Now, listen to me and listen good. I am the head of this family. And my words shall be obeyed to the last. And what is that wife duty that I'm supposed to do? As a wife? You're supposed to cook for your husband. Oh. Your husband's stomach should be the first thing ever. I see. In that case, I will employ a cook. Where? In my house? Of course, in this house. He wants food. I am going to employ a cook because I am sick and tired of going over this over and over again with you. If you are not tired, I am exhausted. And who will be taking care of his or her I salary? I will take care of his salary. Oh, that's it. That's just the point. Because you make money yourself. You no longer see yourself as a woman who should be under a man. Let me tell you, you are not employing any cook that will be cooking my meals. My wife will be cooking my food. You will be the one preparing my food. And I want that to sink in your head. Let it sink. Fabian, what in the world is the color of your problems, if I may ask? Wait a minute. You, you, you're trying to take me back to your father's days? When women were subjected to different inhumanity. Hell no! We are in a different world right now where women employ the help of a chef or cook to be helping out in their husband houses. Okay? So you better wake up to realities or you remain in the olden days. Sonia, it's obvious you don't know anything about marriage. You don't know your duty as a wife. A cook or no food. Nobody's cooking for me. Okay. Nobody. Yes, I married you with my money. I, I, I married you and you must cook for me in this house. Get ready to starve then. Get ready to starve. Also, I will pay you a proper visit. I promise you. Sonia. Yes. Sonia. Yes. Why didn't you tell me you were coming back home with someone? Because I didn't plan on coming back home anyway. I was just uh, in the car park about entering that, that car and he opted to come with me. I couldn't say no. That's it. Wait, I should have said no because I didn't tell my wife? Tom, it called to me while you were driving back home would have made a difference. <sighs> For goodness sake, I am your wife. I am not your maid. You need to realize that. Why are you always trying to make trouble? Why are you making a mountain out of a molehill? What, what did I do wrong? Tom, I deserve some respect. I mean, what would it cost you? Hello, baby. I am coming back home with a friend and we're coming back home for lunch. Why wouldn't you make that kind of call? Of course, no, you wouldn't do it. Because you don't regard me as your wife. Really? I, Tom, I was expecting you to say sorry. Baby, I am sorry, not now. Wow. But of course you married me with your hard earned money. I see what you're trying to do. You're trying to excuse yourself from your wifely duty to me tonight. That's what you're trying to do, but it's fine. Tomorrow is another day and by tomorrow, Trust me, you won't have any excuse. Well, I am going to make this clear to you. We are not just talking about tonight. I am talking about tomorrow, the day after, weeks to come, and even months to come. Wait, wait, what, what did you say about Tom, 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 next Tom, tomorrow? Tom, please.
Please, just stop. Please. People, I want to stop, but this, this, this guy is not resting. Hmm? Just, just the, the tip. Hmm? The, the, just the tip. Tom, mm, stop. Please. Come, Tom. Tom, Tom hmm? take you and your tip to the other side of the bed. Please. No, to not be. Just, okay, just. Tom. Okay, no, just remove. No, just. No, no, please, don't, don't go. Mm. Don't go now. Please, let me resolve it. Me. Baby. Babe. Babe. Stand up, let's go inside. Let's go to the room. No, I want to sleep here, please. What do you mean by you want to sleep here? Let's go inside. Oh my god. This is not a bed. Can you can you just allow me? I know. I just want to sleep here. Please. You're only running away from your wifely duties, and you know that. You should be on your matrimonial bed, not on the cushion in the living room where it's meant to entertain visitors alone. Oh my God. I just can't get a break from you. <sighs> Listen, I hate that I'm having to explain myself because I really do not want to. You said it already. Yes, I am running away from you. I am because I am not in the mood. You get it right now, right? Okay. Can I be allowed to sleep? Hmm? 
shoot yourself. Don't blame me. After a hectic day in the office, you still want me to come and do what with you? As what? Go back. Find your levels. Tom, yeah. I was telling Lake of how good your wife is, and he was doubting me. I said I must come to witness to this great testimony. That was too much. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you. Listen, Nick. Nick, I am not hyped anymore. I'm only telling you the obvious truth. Okay, it's fine. Um, it's almost lunch time. Why don't you tell me what you would like to have? So I can call her and then we can all go for lunch together. How about that? <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> I must tell you that young lady. Stress? Why did I marry her in the first place? Okay. okay. I think I'll go with the who says you guys ate last time. Mm -hmm. Me too. <laughs> okay, maybe I'll join the bandwagon and um, have a goosey soup and pounded yam too. <laughs> Let me uh, hold her. <laughs> Yes, um, change of plans. Um, the uh, rice and stew, something. Uh, I would like to have um, a piece of soup and pounded yam. I will come in with two of my friends. Famous, I am already preparing the rice. Stop it then. So not, I don't even have ingredients to make a greasy soup. The market is just. Yeah. This is just 11.30 and we'll be coming by 12.30. That means you have one hour. Okay? So, uh, you have yourself a greasy and pounded yam. Yeah. <laughs> I can't do it. That's just it. I mean, well, well, how hard can it be to eat a good homemade meal for lunch? That's what I do every day. You confirm it. <laughs> <laughs> you will see and taste by yourself. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Richard, you have to smell. Just... Is this how love will treat me? I'm in pain. I'm in pain. Is this how love will treat me? Um, Thomas called. He said his friends are coming over for lunch and they requested for um, pounded yam and igusi soup. I don't have enough ingredients at home. I need to rush off to the market to get some. So go and get some. Okay, ma. Uh, would you be needing anything I from them? I don't need anything. Just go. Make sure you come back on time because he says he's coming with his friends. Go, go, go. Mm. Sorry. I'm dying inside. I'm dying in silence I thought they say That marriage is a beautiful thing But mine is different But mine is different Oh my God, please help me Baby, show me some love. Show me some love, baby, more. Show me some love. I need your attention. I'm not asking too much. Show me some love. I need your papa. I'm not taking traffic. Show me some love. I'm not asking for much. Show me some love. What's this one thing? God, do me my love. I'm not asking for much. Show me some love. It's me and you forever. Don't have joy together. together. No one puts us on now. Don't forget how we started this life. 
need to get more than two here. You want to keep them waiting for me to get out. What else can I do? Someone tell me now. I am sick and tired of this situation. The more I try, the worse it becomes. If I had known, I wouldn't have got my side. In this, what a good in this, with good heart. Ooh. But marriage has turned her to a slave. A slave. Is this how love will treat me? I'm in pain. I'm in pain. Is this how this is not working? Which is called no to deal with his own faults. I'm a bit. Should I walk away? Get a penis. How much, ma? 10,000 naira. Should I add it? Yes, please. I'll just try to make it snappy a bit, okay? I'm in haste. Just try it again. Oh. It's still declined. Let me see. I just use this card. At They've debited me twice. Uh, it's network. Saying, which one is network? It's remo- bank network. But they've removed the money from my account now. They debited me twice. Look at it here. It's declined. You're showing me what do you want me to do with this? Please just look for a way to give me back my money. Madam, it's your bank network. Which one is my bank? I'm telling you that they debited me twice. You're telling this me it's my... declined, ma'am. Ha! Madam, Biko, I beg. I don't have strength. I don't even have the time for this. I'm in a haste. Kindly look for a way and give me back my money. Check your receipts now. This thing is declined. So what do you want me to do? It's not my fault. Too. Whose fault is it? Mine? Madam, Biko, I don't want issues. I don't even have strength for, for problems right now. Just look for a way and give me back my money so that I can go. You're telling me it's not your fault. Whose fault is it? Mine? It's bank network. It's Madam, bank give network. me my money. I now see bank network. Let me have my money back. You will not stop writing. Good afternoon. My friends. I can see you. Good afternoon, my dears. Please sit down. Thank you. Uh, Where is my wife? I didn't uh, perceive any aroma while coming in. That's because she hasn't cooked anything. She left this house since morning. Said she was going to get some stuff from the market. I haven't seen her. Uh, Madam, you said you have been debited. Are you sure? Do I look like I don't know what I am saying? Look at it now. Look at, look at it. Please, is this not a debit alert? Twice for that matter. You mean she's not back from the market since? As you can see. Which market is she?
She's not taking my call. She's not taking your she... call. <laughs> Miko, just hey. give me back my money. I don't it's want true. issues. It's true. I've seen the debit a lot. Thank you. What? She just rejected my call. But madam, I think the, the, the problem is from your bank. your bank. Oh, it's network. Oh. It's from your bank, but don't worry, they will revise it. Mom, is something wrong with... Let, let's wait a while. Maybe she could be busy. Yeah. If not reverse it, what do I do? What do I collect my money from? Abba. Then you, you report to your bank. Ha. Yeah, you report to your bank. But believe me, before 48 hours, they will, they will revise it. <laughs> believe me. No, one no major about your customer. Ah, she was just even shouting. Ah. She could not even explain. You can hear your problem. What exactly is wrong with her that she, she will reject my call? I'm supposed to answer that question. Oga, please, I'm still begging you. Let me do transfer for you. Madam, I don't like transfer. In this network issue, I don't like it. I prefer cash. Oga, please, I'm having a bad day already. And the weather is gradually changing. Please, don't worry, you'll get the alert, I promise you. Uh, okay, just do the transfer. If I see the alert, I will give you the free stuff. Okay, let me show it. I'm, I'm sure you'll get it before I leave. Not before your aunt's mother. Um, I don't, I don't have it off hand. Let me... Let me get it. Let me fast, eh? Okay. Five, six... This is, this is, this is absolutely nonsense! not taking my calls and she's not returning them now it is raining i don't know where where she has gone no this is not her what is this uh, Tom, you have to calm down first and keep calling her number what do you mean keep calling her she didn't take my calls she rejected them and you said i should call her again for what it's your wife we are talking about here she could be in any kind of danger now it's raining Calling her till she picks your call. Five missed calls again, and she didn't take anyone. None of them. She hasn't taken None. <laughs> you know, it's a good thing that you're experiencing this for yourself. Next time when I give you an advice as your mother, you'll take it. Going to get a wife from the snob. Um, you have to calm down. Just calm down. I believe she will still come back soon. Calm, calm down.
Thomas, you need to calm down. Mom, she is not taking my call. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, Ma. Would you have to? It was, it was really heavy in the outside. I, and, and I had a flat tire as well, so I just... What is this? I'm... What is the meaning of this? Why are you making such a mess here? You're just an idiot. You hear me? What is all this? Where are you coming from? <laughs> Will you answer me before I smack the hell out of you? Where are you coming from? Easy, man. Easy. Take it easy on her. Take it easy. No, no, no. Why would I be calling her and she's not taking my call? Tom, it's okay. Your mom already slapped her. It's, uh, it's, it's alright. Calm down, please. Easy, 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 Take it easy, man. I'm, I'm sorry, guys, for all this embarrassment. Let's just go to a restaurant for lunch. And she's still standing there. She's still standing there. No. This place look, looks, looks like your father's match for. See the mess you're making in my house. Let's go, just go all close. You better come, come, bring mop and bucket and come and start cleaning up this place. After our youth service, I'll be traveling to Europe for my second degree and my master's program. So, what becomes of me? What becomes of the promises and love you'll be giving to me? Come on, babe. I still love you till tomorrow. I'm not going to die there. I'll still come back for you, okay? How can you tell me you'll come back for me when there are other beautiful girls over there who are even more beautiful than I am? Come on, babe, you should understand these things. I didn't fall in love with you because of your beauty. You should understand that it's more of the internal beauty than the external. There's a quality I see in you that tells me you'll make a good wife. That's much reason why I'm in love with you. It's not because of your facial beauty. Okay? I got you, babe. So do you mean you're not going to see all those qualities from other girls over there. <sighs> Come on, babe. These qualities are real. Come on, you should understand that you are one of a kind. Hmm. I'm finding it difficult to believe. To believe you. Once you travel, that will be the end of us. Come on, babe. Why are you sounding like this? See, I like telling myself the truth. What truth are you talking about? How can you go through the stress of coming down to Nigeria again to pick up a wife with you to abroad when there are other beautiful girls who live over there? Wait, babe. Are you saying I'll be living in London after my marriage? Are you intending coming back? Your mother and your siblings live over there. Come on now, babe. Yes, my siblings and my mom, they live over there, but you know, my, my late father have a business running here in Nigeria and someone needs to stay back to manage it and other properties. Believe me when I say I'm going to come back to this country to get you. I'll come and get you and we'll get married, okay? Gerald, it's okay. Coming. 
Hi, love. Hello. How are you? I'm fine. This one, you are all by yourself. What's up? Other coppers are playing outside the lodge. If by now you've not known me to be a private person, that means your character learning skills are weak. Come on, babe. I know you are a private person. I know that. But you should go out and, you know, socialize with friends. I do when I feel like. Huh? Okay, that's cool. Um, that's not why I came. So, why are you here? My mother is in the country. Wow! Wow, wow! That's really nice! Wow, that's good! Yeah. I'm actually traveling to Benin this weekend and I want you to accompany me. Is that necessary? Come on now, baby. It is. You know, I've been telling my mom about you over the phone and she wants to meet with you. <laughs> You're talking as if we're getting married in the next six months, one year, or even two years. You still have your master's and your second degree program to run abroad. There you go again, babe. <sighs> See, the thing is, I want to show you that it's you or no one else. You know, my family, I've actually told them much about you and they are waiting to see this special person. I'll think about it. I'll give you my reply tomorrow. That's cool. I'll wait for your reply then. Okay? Okay. Alright. I'll catch up with some things now. See you later, okay? Alright, take care. <laughs> Alright, bye. Yeah, yeah, I'll see you later. Okay. Lucy, not that Thomas has proposed to me. We're only making plans to a future that is not even close. A future that we don't even know if it will come true. You don't love him? I love him. I love him so much. <laughs> so there is absolutely nothing wrong in going to see his mom. Lucy, the problem here is that this guy will leave this country immediately after our youth service program and travel for his master's and second degree program. Is not still enough to believe that he's not coming back for me? Why not give him the benefit of doubt? He might still come back for you according to his words. What if I keep rejecting other suitors? And he finally disappoints me. See, this thing is very simple. If he travels and continue calling you, sending you money, sending you gifts, you really don't need to look in another man's way, okay? Until he stops oiling the wheels of love, then you can know if he really wants to marry you or not. From there, you can really make the right decisions. Really? That's right. Two good heads are better than one. I so much appreciate you. This means a whole lot to me. Thank you. Thank you so much, Lucy. You're <laughs> hey, you've not said anything as regards what we discussed yesterday. Okay. Don't worry. I'll go with you. Are you being serious? I'm not joking. I'll go with you to Benin to see your mom. Thank you, babe. You are the best. I love you so much. I love you too. <laughs> you know, um, you are the best thing that, that has ever happened to me. That, that's not a problem. Yes. Okay, you know what you're going to do? You will come back and... Can I call you back in a minute, please? Hey, Hello. Mom. 
verify more. Come in. Come in. Mom, meet my beautiful girlfriend, Margaret, the girl I've been telling you about. Margaret, Good evening, Mark. my beautiful mom. Yeah. Good evening, Mark. Where are you from? I, I'm from Imo State, man. And whose daughter are you? My father is late and my mom is Who was your father before this? My father was a village carpenter. Excuse you? Yes, ma'am. He was a village carpenter. Tom. Yes, mommy. This is the person you want to spend the rest of your life with? Yes, mom, isn't she beautiful? The daughter of a village carpenter. Come on, Doctor. We, we have friends in high places. Yes, I know that. We have, we have friends. We're friends with senators, ministers, business muggles. Their daughters are not good enough for you. Mom, you want Margaret to rob the name of your father in the mud <laughs> by marrying this <laughs> Margaret? Mom, stop! Stop! Baby, Don't stop. be silly! Come back here! Baby. Is this boy high or something? You come back and meet me here. What is the meaning of this? <laughs> baby, baby, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry about everything. I didn't want to come here. I did it. But you forced me into this. Now see. I'm sorry about everything, baby. <laughs> To be honest, I've done what is expected of me. I've shown her the woman I want to get married to. She can't stop me from marrying you. Babe. You know I love you so much. Please, let's go back inside. Please. I'm not spending a night in this house. I am not. Babe, please. You can't go back to Ogu State by this time. Come on, babe, please. Let's go back inside. Take me to a hotel. Babe, I can't take you to any hotel. This is my late father's house. And by right of inheritance, I am the first son of this house. This is my house. Come on, I can't have something like this in this city and still take you to a hotel. Please, let's go back inside. Please. Please. Where are you taking that thing? Let's go. I got you. Thomas, where are you taking this thing? Let's go. Thomas, I, you're actually entering my house? Thomas, Thomas! I'm home. You need to see how this woman was talking to me. I have never been humiliated like this all my life. I felt like evaporating away from them. I felt like disappearing into the thin air. <sighs> oh God. I know that feeling. I can relate, trust me. I felt terrible. All through last night, I couldn't sleep till it was morning. I had to start rushing to the park. So, what did your guy say? What else? He was apologizing to me. I know by now, both of them will be having issues. <sighs> Make I talk my mind. I seen they be me now. Me, Lucy. I can never marry a guy whose mother hates me. I will not just get strength for mother in law palaver at all. And I will not advise any lady to do so. At all, at all. Exactly my thoughts. I have gone through a lot, Lucy. Ah. Is this I never wanted to. I wouldn't have been here in the first place. 
I saw all this coming from the onset, but my mother, that woman. Again, what are you doing here? Are you not supposed to be in the with your mother in law? Mama, yeah. I am not interested. Thomas and his mother should go to hell and burn to ashes. <laughs> hey, Anna, I call Irene. Mm. Mama, you Nobody will reduce me to a slave. Never. Nobody. Hey, Maggie, what are you before? Are you better than a slave? Mm -hmm. Eh, answer me. Mama, how can you say a thing like that? Why can I not say a thing like that? You walk in here with your bag when you're supposed to be with your mother in law in, in Benin. You come here, you are standing before me to tell me, in short, to inform me that you are no longer interested in the marriage, just like that. Maggie. Che! Maggie. Are you blind? Are you blind that you cannot see that poverty has reduced you, me, us to nothing. Are you blind not to have seen that that young man, Thomas, is a God sent to this family to liberate us from poverty? Poverty has reduced me, you, us to nothing. So, ne, the better you accept it as your faith, the better for the both of us. Because, Thomas, you must smile. And you are going back to the room. Mm -hmm. Mama, mm. not even a welcome from you. Hey, yeah. I, I need to go and drop my bag. Oh, look. Don't worry. Drop the bag. You will still bring it out. You must return to Benino. You see, Thomas, you must marry that young man. He is the man I want. Akwanona, Omonage. Ewo. What happened? Mama, that woman hates me so much. She hates me with passion. I can't imagine her being my mother in law. No, Mama. No. Maggie? I am asking you what happened. Now I call you. You have not answered my question. What happened? Okay, Mama. There is nothing I do that pleases that woman. Everything I do irritates and disgusts her. As if that was not enough. She stopped the chef, meds, and the cleaners from doing their duties and mandated me to be working. That is the, it is the duty of a woman to be doing all the works. Mama, do you know that I work from morning to evening on a daily basis? I cook three times a day. I wash three times in a week. Mama, I mop the whole house every two days. Mama, the suffering is much. I can't take it now. I cannot. No. Maggie, are you done? Yes, Mama. Good. Let me ask you. How was your stay in the university? Even when your uncle was sending money for your school fees. How were you coping in your academic career? Mama, I suffered a lot. But I wasn't complaining because I know my family was poor. If we had money like other families, it wouldn't be so. Good. Now let me ask you another question. How was you stay with your brothers and your sisters when you all were growing up as children. 
Mama, we suffered a lot. We find it difficult to feed twice a day. Good. Now I want you to see it in your mother's in-laws perspective that it's not her fault. Do you know what is happening to you, Maggie? It's called fate. And that fate you have refused to accept. That same fate, Maggie, you have refused totally to accept in good faith. What is your problem? I want to know. Why are you so confused? Answer me. Oh, what's up? I'm from Nigeria. Tiny sugar, no, no. Umiria. Sinye yo se kota. Maggie. In we are Maggie. We have iron tea. Maggie. Ma. Talk because I feel that's all them come tagging nogi. To be honest, hold on. Wait. This same man, Thomas, that you have refused to marry, has accepted to give you everything a woman desires in this marriage just for you to be happy. Magisen Echoria. This same young man, Thomas, is already making plans to build a house for us. Maggie, you are refusing it. This same young man, Thomas, that you have refused to marry, have already sent you a car. It's in a choro. Bianne, Ebamus. Answer me! Mama, does that mean I was born to suffer? Hey. Did I say that you are born to suffer? Have I said anything close to that? What I am trying to tell you is that Thomas is ready to give you everything and is ready to make you happy. We have suffered enough. Me, I have suffered enough. And I want to come out of that suffering. And if you're telling me you're suffering, you should be happy now. Uh -huh now, because it is better to suffer in, in money than to suffer in poverty. So, I will prefer you to gladly welcome that suffering and continue in that suffering because it is suffering and money. Agni, am I saying something that you are not getting? No, Mama. Have I not suffered enough? You suffered. You suffered. Right now, I want you to be normal. Mama, Mama, what? I am a graduate now. Hey, now is not the same as before. Mm. You are a graduate. Kagini Mezia. Maggie, you are not the only graduate. Though. There are so many graduates roaming in the streets. These same graduates have not been able to secure jobs for themselves, Maggie. And if these same graduates are able to secure jobs for themselves, Maggie, how much is the salary? How much? Because sometimes I feel their income is usually lesser to what they spend. You know what we'll do now so that there will be peace in this house? Eh? You see that young man, Thomas? You must marry him. Maggie, you are not a witch. You see this one, you will not deny me or deprive me of this joy. That house, he must build. You will get up here. Get ready to go back to Benin. Talk now. Let me now tell you my final word. See this conversation. Eh? It's over. Mr. Gene. It's over. Eh? It's over. So you know what you do for me, eh? You will go back to Benin. You will go and meet that your mother-in-law, eh? Are you hearing me? Eh? You wait for your husband to come back 
and make sure you don't come back. You don't, you make sure that you come back to this house with that car I was sent for you. In the end, Thomas, you must marry. Take me to go. Is this how love will treat me? I'm in pain. I'm in pain. Is this how love will treat me? I'm in pain. I tried everything to convince Mama that this relationship cannot work. That I can start a fresh relationship over. I can be lucky to have a man who is rich also. Who is even richer than Thomas. But all my words fell on deaf ears. I'm dying. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. And who are you? Oh, I'm Margaret's friend. Also, no, you are Margaret's friend. Give me my measure. Um, is she around? She's not around. Uh, Ma, she's expecting me. In fact, she knows that I'm coming today. Hi. Yeah, okay. Before me, me pa nyama. Una. Come on, get out from this place. It's okay. I'm sorry, ma. Look at his head like casket. I will take my leave. Nah, nah. I'm shiny, ma. Sorry for yourself, too. Ew. Nyara. Hello. You said what? How? As in how? I have been in the house since morning. I didn't go anywhere. My mother. Oh my God. Please, where are you now? Okay, just wait there. I am, I am, I am coming right away. Please, I'm coming now. <sighs> Mama, why would you lie unnecessarily? You need to come and walk in wine. Answer me. What does a man and a woman have in common? Answer me. Mama, I don't have your time now. Yeah. I don't. Omo kama gena agwa. Omo kama gena agwa. Mama, I don't have your time. In this house. Very sorry. Please forgive me. Forgive my mom too, please. I mean, she hasn't met me before. Why is she being so hostile? Does she know me? Does she know where I'm coming from? No, so I am sorry. I am so so sorry. Let's go back to the house. Back to where? I'm not going back to that house. I'm not going back there. Okay, let's sit at nearby store. I'm okay here. That's your mom. Who? She. Where is she going to? Yeah! Leave my daughter alone! Leave Maggie alone! Mama! She's a married woman! Shut up your mouth! I'm going to go. Okay, Maggie, are you married? Answer him! No, I am not married to anybody! No! Hey! Maggie, see that you're not married! Hold on! 
Has she told you that her husband lives in London? Eh? Maggie, you're even married and your husband is in London. Mm -mm. Hey. Mm -mm. hey! You did not tell him. No, but hold on. Shut Let's check on. Don't worry. As for you, let me ask you a question and I want you to answer me honestly. If you are married to a woman and you hear or you see that she is dating another man, at your back, how would you feel? Okay, me. Answer me. Hey, yeah, it's a go. Answer me now. <sighs> Maggie, Maggie, my daughter, please, I don't want you to feel bad. I know that deep down in your heart, you must have been asking yourself so many questions. And you must have been thinking, if I am actually your mother, I am your mother. It's okay. See, listen to me. In your hands. The truth is that no mother hates her own. No mother would want to hate her own child, especially after carrying that child in her womb for nine months. All I am asking for is for you to see things in my own way. Maggie, you are very beautiful. And you're very precious. Listen. I cannot continue in this suffering. And I cannot watch us continue in this suffering. Yes, I can understand. I can understand that your mother-in-law hates you so much. Fine, I am not disputing it. But you should also understand that she is not the one you're marrying. And... You do not need to make her your priority. She's not even a factor for now. You should focus on your husband despite the fact that he is not in the country. He lives abroad. But know that one day he will return. And when he returns to you, the two of you will start living happily. Then that your mother-in-law will not have any excuse to come in between you people's marriage or even to try to unleash her anger and hatred on you. Yes, I know deep in my heart that this marriage will work and you will be happy. Now listen, our six rooms bungalow is on the finishing and it is only this young man, Thomas, your own husband-to-be. He is the only one God has used to bless us. Why are you refusing this blessing? Secondly, you know that by now, you would have been a car owner if not for your indecisiveness. Yes, you would have been driving a car of your own. And don't undermine how our mockers, how they will feel when this house will be finished. And when they hear that it belongs to us, Maggie, how will they feel? You see, them that have been mocking us will turn around to celebrate us. Understand? Please, understand. Help me, help us. Help us, please. Eh? Nah. I know you can do it. You can. Please, just do it for us. You know, go. You will be happy. Wait until your husband returns. You will be happy again. Eh? Please, stop crying. Eh? Stop crying. Come. Come. Come closer. Come. Yeah, I know that's what you want. So it's okay. Stop crying. Yeah? Is this how love? I couldn't convince her. Rather, she convinced me. Now I am the one wearing the shoe. It's now hurting me. And me alone. Mama is nowhere to share in my pains. 
whatever the case, I am still human. I have the right to my freedom. I am nobody's slave. For any reason, will you support your mother raise her hand on your wife? Well, the truth is that Thomas is blessed with a good wife. She's calm, she's lovely. I mean, she's a wonderful wife. She is. Hmm? Don't answer the question. I'm still heading to the answer. If it were to be my wife, I don't think there would be any reason for me to intervene because she would tear down my mother and my house that day. She would tear everything into pieces. Eh? My wife, my mother dare not raise her hand on her. It's not possible. Ha! But that was very bad. V very terrible. I mean, the presence of your friends. Ah, no, 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 no. There is no excuse whatsoever acceptable for this. Right. Ah, your right. wife, you watch your, your mother raise her hand on your wife. It's bad. It's really bad. You're right. You know, I used to regard Thomas as a perfect gentleman. Not anymore. No, 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 not anymore. Don't do that. My wife. <laughs> Tiger. <laughs> that house will catch fire that day. No dinner. Um, I don't know. She's still moody. Maybe because you hate her. What rubbish. Maybe because I'm, I hate her. She deserves to be hit. She's very silly. Don't worry, Mom. I'll, I'll just go with cereal and some fruits. Don't worry. I'll make you something. Mom, no. I, I don't want you to bother yourself. Why? I know what she's trying to do. She's trying to get back at us by stabbing us. That's not going to work. You hear me? I'm a woman. I can cook. So I'll make you something, don't no, worry. No, Mama, insist. That you don't go to bed on an empty stomach. You just got back from work. I'll make you something nice. Rubbish. I hit her. She's moody. So what? Why would she be moody? I thought if I hit her, she would leave. But she stayed on because she has nowhere to go. Thank you, Mom. Is this how Treat me, I'm in pain. I'm in pain. Is this how love will treat me? I'm in pain. I'm in pain. Should I walk away? Should I give it a break? Should I fight it out? Should I walk away?
I'm dying in silence I'm dying in silence I thought they say That marriage is a beautiful thing But mine is different Jimo yeah. But mine is different Oh my God, please help me out. Baby, show me some love. Show me some love, baby, more. Show me some love. I need your attention. I'm not asking too much. Show me some love. I need your pampering, baby. Baby, show me some love. I'm not asking for much. Show me some love, be romantic. God, do me my love. What is the meaning of this? What is the meaning of what? What are you doing? What does it look like I'm doing? Where are you packing your things to? Tom, you are not blind. You can obviously see what I am doing. There is no need for that question. So I am now a stupid person asking stupid questions, right? Well, I don't care what you think you are doing. But whatever it is, you can't just leave my house until I say so. Say so. I say so. Tom, the last time I checked, I am human. I have a life. I have a right to live. I have a right to make choices for myself. You won't stop me from leaving this house. <laughs> you must be joking. Oh, okay, I see what you're, you're expecting. You're expecting me to roll on the floor and start begging you, isn't it? Well, that will not happen. And if you want to leave, you can pack your things, but you keep it here until I say so. And then if you want to leave officially, let us have a divorce so that you can leave and let me know that I'm done with you. What is it? It's fine. If that is the way you want it. Is this how love we treat me? I'm in pain. I'm in pain. Is this how love we treat me? I'm in pain. I'm in pain. Please shut up. Don't talk when I'm talking. Won't you dare tell me that? What kind of rubbish is it? I am talking to you, you should listen to me! When, when did all this start? You don't talk back at me? What was the noise all about? Can, can, can you imagine that girl waking up this morning and telling me that she, she, she wants to leave my house? On what basis? So let her go. Huh? What is she still doing here? She should leave already. She's not even needed here. Let her go back to the bachelor where she belongs. Uh, well, well, mom, she can, she can just leave like that. If she wants to leave, then let's make it official. So make it official. All you need to do is call the marriage counselor. In fact, go there now. Have her start the proceedings. What's the big deal? She should get out. She's not even needed here. She should go back to the butter where she belongs. All right, mom. I, I'll stop at Sonia's and then ask her to start the divorce proceeding as well. More like it. More like it. Uh, wait. You'll be running for House of Reps next year. Yes, well, what has that got to do with anything? A lot, my dear. A lot. Confluence. You're a boarding politician. You need to learn from the mistakes of the older ones. It's called wisdom. Okay. Now, any mistake that you make, any dent on you, your opponent can use it against you. It's called common strategy. Okay. A divorce is a very big dent on your portfolio. Your opponent can use it against you and for all you know, you can get disqualified. Okay, okay. 
okay? That's true, that's true. So, so how do I handle it? Should I just go in there and tell her to, okay, there's no divorce, you're not mm -mm. going anywhere until... You will divorce her, but on one condition. right? Yes, if that is what you want as well. Okay. So, um, I'll stop at Sonia's place and have her start the divorce proceeding immediately. But that is on one condition. Which is? We will sign the divorce papers and be divorced, but we'll still stay together. I don't get you, Tom. Well, um, you would um, pack your things and go to the guest room. I will get another wife. You can stop all your wifely duties no cleaning, no washing, nothing. Right? And then, um, you, uh, you automatically still have food, water, shelter, and even your car. And your monthly salary stays intact. Everything. Up until August. This is September. I'm talking about August next year. And this is to what end? Political reasons. Fine. Where are you taking your things to? My new room. This whole arrangement does not affect your next trip to be with our kids come this summer. But I want you to understand that you must not, for any reason, disclose to them our new status. They must not be aware that we are divorced. At least not yet. Until their feeble mind is developed enough to handle the news. Is that understood?
do. Anything else? No. Whatever comes up, I'll let you know as soon as possible. Is this how love will treat me? I'm in pain. I'm in pain. Is this how love will treat me? I'm in pain. I'm in pain. Should I walk away? Treat me. I'm in pain. I'm ready for work. Your breakfast is ready and the bulk water is in the small flats. See you later. It's today not supposed to be the last Thursday of the month. Oh dear me. Our daughter is visiting the right. Gosh. I almost forgot. Thank you for reminding me. It's past 8 a.m. already. for work already. See that, I can't make it. I don't know if you're going to be free or busy in the office today, but either ways, I can send my sister to represent us. Can you listen to yourself, Sonia? No, like, can you hear yourself talk? A married woman, a specialist on marriage affairs, can you hear yourself talk? Please. What did I do wrong now? When will you start leaving up your responsibilities as a married woman? When will you stop delegating your responsibilities to others? Your marriage should come first before anything else. That's what makes you a successful woman. <laughs> Wait a minute. What exactly are you trying to say? No, I need to know why you love picking up unnecessary quarrels with me all the damn time. Like, why do you like exchanging words with me? If you don't do that every day, you, you'll not be fine, right? Is that it? No, I need to know why. Listen to me, don't you forget things? Why are you sitting here acting like Mr. Buffett? You don't forget things? Not things like this. So then you don't forget things like this. Things you like don't. What? Excuse me, things like what? Educate me, please. Things like what? You of all people know that I've got a whole lot in my head. Like I've got a whole lot. A whole lot of divorce cases to handle. Court cases too. My head is full, for God's sake. Don't you understand? Here is my point exactly, Sonia. Your marriage should come first before any other thing. Your marriage should always be in your mind. Set your priorities right for goodness sake. You're a woman, not a man. You married me as an ambitious woman. You married me as a career-minded woman. From the get-go, you knew what you were getting yourself into. So why are you acting all confused right now? No, why are you complaining? Listen, it's too early to do this with you. And I refuse to partake in this drama. See you later. That's it. See me later all the time. You don't even care about your family. Good morning, ma'am. Julie, how are you? I'm fine, ma'am. Ma, the couples are here waiting already, ma'am. Two different couples are just a couple. Four people are in the reception, two husbands and two wives. Oh, really? What kept you, ma? Julia, it's not important. The most important thing is that I'm here now. Okay? Mm -hmm. Hey, take. Get my stuff from the car. Okay, ma. You let him in. Immediately. Hello. Good morning. Hi. Good morning. Please do have a seat. Thank you. How are you? Very well, thank you. Your wife? I heard your mom is in the country. How is she too? Everyone is fine. Thank you. So, 
how may I help you today? Oh, yes. Yes, so... Uh, my wife and I have... Um, they have decided to get a divorce. What? in God's name is wrong with marriages these days. So I am here to ask you to start um, the divorce proceedings as soon as possible. Wait a minute, Mr. Tom. I, 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 don't, I don't get you at all. I, are you saying there is nothing that can be done to resolve this? Like, I would like to see you and your wife together. Oh, um, I, don't, I don't think that would be necessary. Because our minds are made up. So you just um, need to get the divorce papers ready and uh, let us know. Okay, then. So how soon is your son? Very soon. Since you said your minds are made up already. Oh yes, I will. Um, I mean, um, <laughs> of course we. Our minds are made up. So when exactly is uh, your son? Or how soon is your son? as possible. Alright, um, I believe we are done with this session. Thank you. A man's age does not make him grow But how he handles things How he handles things A man must be defined by his priorities, not by his desires. Nick, I am beginning to lose faith in my marriage. Come on, don't say a thing like that. Come on, stop it. I'm dead serious. I'm, 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 I'm very serious, Nick. I'm being, I'm being serious. So, let me tell you one thing you don't know. You are blessed with a good wife. Who? Your wife. You me. are blessed. You don't know it. Me. Yes. Blessed with a good man. Yes. That means you don't know my wife. Forget about social life. When you come close, my guy, you go be grace. Oh, sorry, I'll put it all Be blessed. Can I teach you my philosophy about marriage? Okay. Go on. I believe that uh, for a marriage to work or fail, the complete making of the man, the husband, the head of the family. How do you mean? You see, every woman has a good side and her bad side. Even the worst of them all still has that good side of her. It is garbage, garbage out. What you give to her is exactly what she gives back to you, even when she's callous and wild. Don't tell me that, Nick. My wife is so mean. If you can ignore those bad side of her and love her as though you didn't notice the bad side of her, you win her. Love changes anything. Can I tell you the story my father told me about marriage? Okay. And it has really helped me a lot. I learned this from my father. You see, love is the greatest force on earth. The making of a marriage, the success of a marriage, lies hundred percent on the shoulders of a man. When you know this, you will know 
peace. I learned this from my father and it has really helped me a lot. There is no how you respond to a woman with love that she will not change. You don't change the woman by force. You change the woman with love. Love is the greatest force on the earth. The success and the failure of a marriage lies 100% on the shoulders of a man. When you know this, a man's age does not make him grow. But how he handles things so anybody else want to come on my live thank you thank you so much <laughs> best thank you yes 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 thank you i'm excited that you're all here Oh, he's back. Hello, son. Hi, mom. Hey, darling. You look tired. Come. No, work was hectic. Mm. 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 How did it go at work today? Ah, oh, well, it was it was work, <laughs> hence the tiredness. And how's the divorce thing coming on? I went by Sonia's, and she said that she would um give her some weeks and she'll be Some done weeks? Uh, she can't tell us when exactly? No, she said because of the papers that she needed to file some papers at the anyway, court. Yeah. Well, we'll wait for the divorce papers to be ready. Yeah. Your new bride will be joining us. <laughs> I spoke to her parents. Um, coincidentally, she's in the country, so they've allowed her to come and spend some days with us so you guys get to know each other and get to bond. <laughs> oh, okay. I... I don't mean exactly you how should I should be feel. excited. You uh, need to see this girl. She Mwamaka. Hey! Mm. Oh Malo. You know now, I know what's going for. <laughs> yeah, you. Of, course, yeah? mom, of course. Okay, go in and um settle in. I'll come get us something to eat, okay? Alright, mom. Welcome. If it's fine by you, it is fine by me. It is fine by me. Yes, it is. <laughs> That's my son. <laughs> Welcome you, home. Thank you, mom. <laughs> okay, so yes, you were saying. Hi guys. Daddy came to pick me up from the meeting break. Oh yeah, he did. Oh yes. wow, that's so nice of him, Angel. <laughs> Angel, mommy is sorry she couldn't come to pick you up because mommy is choked up with work. Like I'm very tired, I need to just rest. Okay? Mommy, you didn't buy anything for me. Oh yes. I'm sorry, baby. Mommy's tired, like I said. Don't worry, I'll just rest a little bit and then freshen up, go out, I buy you whatever food you want, and I'll buy you ice cream, your favorite. Yay! You I'll want... eat ice cream today. You want ice cream, right? That's my baby girl. That's my baby girl. <laughs> Welcome. So, where is daddy? He's in the kitchen. Kitchen? Yes. Okay, I'll be right back, Angel. Continue to watch.
You're back. <laughs> How's work today? I know you must be very tired by now. Why don't you go up, have your shower while I prepare your dinner? I know you can't wait to eat my food. Just go in, have your shower, then relax. Your husband is in the kitchen. Babe, you know, I didn't know I married the best cook in the whole wide world. <laughs> Like, how lucky can I be? <laughs> My God. Hey. You can say that again. You can cook. Oh my God. Hmm. <laughs> Babe. Babe, I've been wondering. I think something is not right. You know, you've changed. You, you no longer shout at me even when I do things that I know that provoke you. You just ignore me. What's going on? Are you planning to leave me? Planning to leave you? Never. I will never plan such evil. What's happening then? Nothing. Nothing? Yeah, nothing. Just that I realized that Weak men get angry with their wives, but strong men don't. I used to be weak, but now I'm strong. That was what happened. <laughs> I just love you. Oh my God. I love you more, babe. <laughs> it's okay. It's fine. So, what would you like to eat tomorrow? <laughs> How long is that take? Hell no. <laughs> I would love to put on a red dress and something really cozy, you know? <laughs> Okay, so um, what time are you picking me up? Uh. <laughs> uh. Hello. Hello. Oh, my little Good oh to my see God, you. you look amazing. Thank Turn around, you. Turn around. 12 for oh, mom, baby. Get in there, baby. In my condom. You too, mommy. In my condom. In my condom. In my condom. <laughs> oh, Guinea. Meet my son, your husband. <laughs> Meet Fanta. Oh, the Waka Fanta. I oh, get it, I oh, get it, Hi. 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 Thomas, right? Oh, just call me Tom. I, I have met your brother, and, uh, and um, and your parent a couple of times. Oh, yes. I equally met your parent and your younger sister. Oh, <laughs> so, pleasure. Good to see you. Uh, good to see you. Oh. <laughs> you, you know what? Let's go in and have lunch. Lunch is ready. Come, come, my darling. Uh, yeah? Sorry. My box. They're already inside. Of me. All right. <laughs> so you're picking up at five, right? Yeah. Uh-huh. Yes. Of course I will. I'm actually trying not to wear something sexy, you know? 
I read dress all the time because I like. <laughs> You're very naughty. I hope you know that. Five o'clock. So you're welcome. So, um, this is my bedroom, and um, you've seen the rest of the house. What do you think? Why don't you um, choose the bathroom, freshen up, and then come downstairs? <laughs> okay. <clears throat> now, this is the bathroom. Okay. See ya. Does she like your bedroom? Does she have a choice? <laughs> yeah. Did you notice her, Margaret? I didn't notice anybody. Mom, she was just there making an unending call with God knows who, and she was and laughing like a. How is that your business? Yeah, she. Well, as my wife in my house, she's. A... Your ex wife, Thomas. Ex wife. Yeah, but we haven't signed the divorce papers. It doesn't make any difference to me. As far as I'm concerned, you're divorced. And it will stay that way. Can you go upstairs and take care of your guests? Yeah, Mom, let me just check something outside. Thomas, no? you have a guest. Yeah, I know, Mom. I just want to... Go in and take care of your guests. Mom, but it's just... Um, Thomas. Me... Yes, Mom. Upstairs. Yes, Mom, but... I just wanted to uh, tell. Fine. <clears throat> what is this rubbish? Maybe we should send her packing completely. She's too much distraction. See, uh, I am here. You are here. And you've seen all that there is to see of my house. What do you think? Mm, not as big as I had thought, but I can manage. <laughs> Don't worry about that. I promise to get us a new house before our wedding. That's a good idea. <laughs> you know what? <clears throat> the truth is, I'd always admired your family. Mm. I'd always wanted to be a part of your family. Mm. Mm -hmm. And I'd always admired you from a distance, even though we hadn't met. I see your pictures and my dad talks about you all the time. And as well as my brothers, they speak highly of you. Mm. And then it got me thinking, hmm, 
who is this guy? Who is this guy? I think he's my kind of man. He's the kind of man I would really want to spend the rest of my life with. And boom, here I am. <laughs> Ta -da -da. <laughs> I wow. love successful men. Mm. Yes, I do. You know, a life is so mysterious sometimes, and it can be mysteriously good. All does well, and here you are, not just in my house, but in my bedroom as my future wife. No! Your wife. Please skip the future. <laughs> All right, let's and cheers to that. that. So I was just thinking, why don't you just, um, you know, go to the kitchen. Uh, oh. Is there a problem? Kitchen? Oh, yeah. I was just thinking maybe we could just um, go to the kitchen and ruffle up something for <laughs> no, dinner. No, 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 no. I've never cooked in my life. Oh, yes, that's the truth. In my father's mansion, we have about... Uh, four chef, okay. um, Benita, uh, Chima, Kelvin, and uh, Andrew. About four of them. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> uh, why? Why don't you have a chef in this big house? Uh, we've never really needed any. I mean, it's just my wife and I, then um, my mother. And sometimes. Now that I am here, I think you should get one for yourself. <laughs> okay. Uh, um. You yeah, just um. I know. Um, I you need a minute. I, oh, I, that's fine. I'll uh, be here waiting. Yeah. I'm ready now. <laughs> oh, kitchen. Who's been cooking for them? His mother. You better get one for yourself. Hmm. This wine doesn't even taste good as I thought. A man's age does not make him grow. But how he handles things. How he handles things. Mom. Something strange though. I was having a conversation with Fanta and she made mention that she doesn't go to the kitchen. She doesn't cook at all. So I'm just wondering if she doesn't cook and I don't eat outside, how how, how is this going to work? That is not a problem. No, listen, no. she listen to me. Okay. Women, we like to show off. When the tips are down, she will cook for you. Oh no, mom. She doesn't sound like she's um, joking about it. She sounds... It was serious for I'm her. I'm telling you it's not a problem. We like to make shakara. You know how it is now. You just met. Don't worry about that. Oh, but mom, the problem now is that I actually want to eat. I'm hungry and I... It's not a problem. I'll go fix you something. What do you want? You will cook? Why not? I, haven't I been cooking for you? Oh, mom, you've been cooking, but that's a long time ago. So you want I to make you something, don't worry. Okay, mom. Every I... woman cooks. So what are we? Mom, you're going to the kitchen. Yes, I am. What is it you want? Well, anything. You anything. better say what you want now. No, mom, I'm serious. Anything you give to me, I'm fine. Let's see if we can make anything. <laughs> What is the problem? I don't like the bathroom. It's not spacious. All right. Um, why don't you just um, manage it for now? Just um, take your shower. We. We're actually downstairs waiting for you. You know where I'm coming from. I, it's too small. It's just a tiny fine. space, more like a cubicle. It's, it's fine. Just um, manage it for now, okay? You're not supposed to spoil your face with that gloomy look on it. Hmm? 
you manage it yeah I'll try good Mom, what is what is wrong what is happening I'm lost oh no you don't need to be lost I was just thinking you know you said a woman is supposed to take care of her husband and the house right mm -hmm. good and then um somehow margaret is no longer in the picture and then you brought in a lady in the capacity of a wife and she does nothing and suddenly it is okay for you to take up some house chairs, do them yourself and also you are thinking of hiring a chef what changed Mom, did, did you see that noodle? Mm. Did, did you see how rich and garnished it is? Does, does it look like something one should be ashamed of? I'm sorry. You want to know what has changed? Yes, exactly. I, I, I you want, want to know what's going on? I, I want tell to you. know. Class. Class. You do not expect me to hire a chef for that thing you picked up from the badger. Really? And you do not expect that very beautiful girl raised in affluence that can get anything she wants at the tip of her fingers to come and start doing chores for you. Mom. Really? Really. <gasps> wow. Wow. Mom, just wow. A man's age does not make him grow. But how he handles things. How he handles things. A man must be defined by his priorities, not by his desires. Cause a real man Make his wife Feel like a priority Cause a real man Make his wife Feel like a priority And not an option She's not an option She's not an option Thomas, your food is ready. Um, I'm coming. Not a Wow. So someone can actually stoop solo to eat my food. Just wow. And he even emptied the pot. 
is crazy. <laughs> Thing, I'm, I'm fine. No, something is bothering you. What is it? Honestly, nothing. I'm, I'm cool, actually. So why are you not touching me? Am I unattractive? Or you don't like me? Why? Why would you say such a thing? You... You are the most beautiful woman I have ever seen. And there's no man that can reject you. Never. So why are you not touching me? Uh, I, I'm just um, thinking maybe it is not um, time yet. No seeing that we're not um, married legally. married at all, actually. <clears throat> Fine. So, I would like you give me a head. Um, a, a... Yes, a uh, head. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Wait, um, <clears throat> sorry. What exactly is, um, head? So, that will be on the same page. I mean, I, I don't understand what you're... You're asking me. Where have you been living? Under a cave? A head! I mean, it makes me climax and, you know, mm -hmm. get orgasms over and over again. Mm-hmm. Okay. So let's start no, going. No, I, I, I still don't understand what you're talking about. What is exactly are you talking about? Head, Tom! Head! Oh, yeah, um, <clears throat> okay, like, um, the you say funny things, yeah? That, that's what you're saying, yeah? Exactly. Oh, okay. I, um, um, <clears throat> sorry. Just, um, trying to clear my head to me, it, it. Again, let's again today. My god, the woman you gave her talking the other time, she's here already. Oh, listen, Julie, I have clothes for the day. I am going back home to make dinner for my husband. Tell anybody looking for me that I'm not available anymore. Okay, ma'am. For today, I'm shut down. Okay, ma'am. Please help me pack up my stuff and meet me up in the car. Hurry up. Okay, ma'am. Oh my god. How's work? Fine, then yours. Hectic as usual, but I'm fine. <laughs> so, what is my beautiful wife preparing? 
Well, isn't that supposed to be my little secret? Ah. Don't worry, you will love it. Sure, I will. <laughs> as long as it's coming from you. Uh, uh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Alright, babe. I'll be upstairs. Alright, babe. See you. See you then. <laughs> Later. See you, babe. Soon. Not make him grow. But how he handles things, how he handles things. A man must be defined by his priorities, not by his desires. Well, what are you doing? What is going on here? Why are you why are you doing that? I'm sweeping. Why? Why not? You cannot be sweeping when I have a, a wife to be in my house. No, now it's not right. You have a wife, not a wife to be. You hear me? Well, this is not fair. This is this is not. Don't worry about it. I can do this. Uh, I already spoke to my agent. Uh, by this evening, he's bringing the chef and a steward. And all this will be over. I know but let me of... just clean this place a little bit. Mom, I know all of that. But that doesn't mean you should be doing this. That doesn't mean you should be doing all the chores. It's not right. I said I'm fine doing it. It's okay, don't worry. You know, when Margaret was my wife, she does all the house chores and there was no okay. need for... I'm not complaining. Ejimaka Gaza. Eh? Don't come and tell me anything about some stupid Margaret now. Secret. Ikoputa. You take this love for granted, you must pay. Cause the vacuum You're still in bed. Is that a problem? Aren't you supposed to sweep? Excuse me? Sweep where exactly? Because as far as I'm concerned, my room is swept. I'm not talking about this room. I'm talking about the entire house. Really? Why would you be sitting down here and my mother is doing all the house chores and sweeping everywhere? Is, does that make sense to you? Of course it doesn't make sense to you. You want me to sweep the entire house? As what? Your wife? Your maid? Or somebody you kept here to take care of everything for you? No. Go on. Or don't you know where your wife is? Do I look like your wife? I don't think so. through last night in the name of trying to satisfy you, you still need one more round. Mm. 
Babe, I am your wife. And it is your duty as my husband to satisfy me. Okay, uh, accepted. It is my duty to satisfy you. So what is your duty as my wife? Hmm? You heard me. What exactly is your duty? Because you are here lying in bed while my wife... My mother is out there, cleaning, doing all the dishes. So what exactly is this supposed to be? Hey! Hey, 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 hey! Hey, 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 hey! Just hold it there. Slow down, Floss. Wait, wait, wait a second, Thomas! You mean you brought me into this house to do your house chores? Now listen to me. I was told that you needed a wife and not a maid. If you need a maid, go get one yourself. What is your problem? I am going to report this to your mother. What do you mean, what is my problem? Who is talking about a maid thing here? I am not your maid, Thomas. Who says anything about being a maid? As a wife, you're supposed to do something. Cling after yourself. Do some house chores. What? what? What, what does being a wife mean to you? This is not why I came here. This is not why I came here. I am going to report this to your mother. Mommy! 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 What is this? Oh, I, I, I don't blame you. I, I blame myself for all this rubbish. You don't, you don't want to do anything in this house. You just want to... Spend money and 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 let lazy about. A man's age does not make him grow. But how he handles <laughs> No, but you know I am serious. Yes, I already told you that I would love to go on that date. Yes, I was asking. I need you to come take me out later today. Five p.m. But I told you before, I'm I'm dying of boredom here. I just need to go somewhere. Oh, you always like to spoil me, silly. <laughs> Thank you so much. So I'll be waiting for you. You pick me up at five, and I'm wearing that particular red dress you got for me. It's a, of course, I miss you too, and I love you. <laughs> I mean, what difference does it make whether I add very much or not? Mm -hmm. Yes, those lingerie you actually got are actually what I am wearing tonight. Which of the, the white one? <laughs> the white is my favorite. You know, the, the other time I wore the red, you said you didn't really like it, so... I'm doing the white today. Okay, so I'll wait for you to pick me up. Bye. Love you. You know, you not really told me that this is what you're spoiling me today. You said you will spoil me today. Mm, I will still spoil you. Mm. You not told me that this is what I will spoil you. Mm. Ah, ah. Hey. Amen. <laughs> Good. Wow. <laughs> Let me spoil you today. 
Vou beber. You people waste that time, boy. Nick, you say I should, I should, I enjoy should enjoy myself. Enjoy it. <laughs> it's okay. Mm. I, I just want to show appreciation of how God used you to resolve my marriage. Do you know, I was already planning how to send Sonia out from my house and move in with another woman. But after telling me the story of your late father's advice, it changed my mentality. My whole mentality about marriage, it changed it. Look at me today. I am enjoying the fruit of it. My marriage is the sweetest now. I am enjoying my marriage, Nick. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> I'm so, so happy to hear this. Yeah. I'm just honored. You, know, you deserve it. I won't thank you enough. So, my brother, enjoy yourself. Mm. Yeah. I'm so honored. I'm so honored. Hey, just enjoy yourself. Mm. You see? I wish every other man out there would get to know about this marriage secret of yours. It will help a lot. Yes, it will. You're right. The point is that uh, we all have a role to play. Mm -hmm. You start from the contacts, the people around your sphere of contacts. You preach to as many as will listen to you. <laughs> While I preach to the people around my sphere of contact, mm. together we can change the world to yes. a better place. Yes, yes, yes. No, no to divorce. We say no to divorce. Thank you very much, Nate. Look at me now. I'm enjoying my marriage, though. <laughs> my marriage is not the sweetest. The way I'm enjoying <laughs> this catfish here. <laughs> Enjoy yourself. What can you get? Hmm? What you did for me is bigger than this catfish. Hmm. Hmm? You saved my marriage. Man's age does not make him grow. But how he handles things. How he handles things. A man must be defined by his priorities, not by his desires. Cause a real man make his wife feel like a priority. I, I saw I saw Margaret going out of this house. I've watched you walk. Well, did you see what Margaret wore out of this house? And she's even entering another man's car. What is your business? No, Mom. How does that concern me? She she Listen it, to me. She can wear whatever she wants to wear. It's not your business. You're divorced. The only reason she's here is for your political career. Get that into your head. Mom, but she's still living under my, my house. Keep quiet. It's not your business. She can go naked for all we care. Now, the earlier you take your eyes off that stupid girl and start concentrating on your new wife, build your new relationship and your home. You hear me? The better it is for you. Mom, the, the, Are you okay? I'm, I'm, Are you listening to me? Mom, I don't. I don't. Concentrate on your home. 
What's my business whether she goes out naked or she's dressed? Rubbish. This boy needs to be stolen. Dinner is served. Mm. Okay, I'm coming. Thank you, sir. Thank you. You take her love for granted, you go pay. You take this love for granted, you must pay. Cause the vacuum, where she cover, nobody can cover it yet. Oh, you see this vacuum, hey, where she cover, nobody can cover it all for you. So be careful, be careful, open your eyes, open your eyes, it. What God has given to shed, so be careful, be careful, open your eyes to shed your shirt. Chef! Chef! Sir, you can go on. What is this? Size bitter leaf, Ufun. Test it, sir. I said, test it. No, sir, it's your food. You're not testing. Is this how your village people prepare bitter leaf soup? Eh? What? Are you even a Ketra? Yes, sir, I'm a Ketra. You can confirm from our agency. Which rubbish agency are you talking about? You should be able to defend what you say you can do. What exactly is this? You know what? <clears throat> Tomorrow morning, I do not want to wake up and see you here. Take this rubbish and take yourself out of this house. Sir? Oh, sir, 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 please now. Oh, sir? Fish. Sir? This is bitter leaf soup now. Sir? Oh, rubbish. Why were you raising your voice? Mom, where, where did you get that boy from? What boy? The chef or whatever he says he's doing in my house. You don't like his cooking? Mom, have you tasted anything that he cooks in this house? Yes, he's good. I like it. Really? Yes. Well, not everybody would cook like your village girl. Oh, well, that's how I like my food. Exactly like that, or something better. Oh. Anyway, I've sucked him. You did what? I've sucked him. It's okay. As long as you're prepared to go into the kitchen and make your meals yourself. Mom, what, what exactly is, is she doing in this house? Sleeping all day. What, what, what is she supposed to be doing in this house? Thomas, I don't have time for this rubbish. It's okay to start him. Make your name yourself. No, Mom, is, is that all you have to say about this? You take her all right, fine. For granted. Fine, I know, I know exactly what I want to do. Take this love for granted, you must pay. Philip! Cause the vacuum. Philip! Where she cover? Philip! Nobody can cover it yet. Oh, oh. you see this vacuum? Brother, sir. Is she back she yet? No, sir. Nobody can cover it all. Do you know what the time is? Past 10 and she's not back yet. Yes, and maybe she went for Because I've been, I've been, I've been awake. Security conscious. Nobody have knocked at the gate. Nobody have passed the gate. I'm not seeing. Go back. Stop risking your wife. So be careful. Be careful. Open your eyes. What God has given to you. So be careful. Open your eyes. Appreciate what God has given to you. Beep! 
To bed. Go inside. I need you in bed right now. I said I'm coming. No. Okay, just give me ten minutes. I'll be with you. Ten minutes. Oh yes, ten minutes. Ten minutes. I'm coming. <clears throat> I said I'm coming. What, what is your problem? We're outside. What, what are you trying to do? Uh -uh. I said 10 minutes. I'm coming. <clears throat> A man must be defined by his priorities. Not by his desires Cause a real man Make his wife Feel like a priority Mommy, no honesty, I am tolerating all this is excuses because of you What happened? I don't know what he's doing out there all by himself At this time of the night Outside? Yes! Mimi, I want to go. I want to go, mommy. I want to go. I'll just pack my things and leave this house. Do that. I'm not begging anyone to marry me. I was on my own and he came for me. Why is he treating me as if I'm in love of wood? You're too fine to frown. Eh? You're too fine for this, okay? Let me go and talk to you. I need him in bed. I am horny. I need him to come to bed. So this is what you have reduced yourself to. Are you sure you know whose son you are? Mom, can you please leave me alone? You should be ashamed of yourself. What are you doing out here? So at this age, you can't make up your mind about what you want. One minute you want, one minute you don't want. You're not sure what you what, what you can't make up your mind. I don't know what you're talking about. You know what I'm talking about. What are you doing here? What are you sitting here waiting for? You should be in your bedroom with your wife. Go to your room. Your wife needs you. Go to your room and stop disgracing your father's, your late father's spirit. I'm not disgracing anybody. I'm just here because I, I can have someone living in my house out there. What is your business? This ungodly hour. What is your business? A woman that you have divorced? You can't take your eyes off her. Why won't you take your eyes off that stupid girl and concentrate on your family? Mom, can you please leave me alone? Don't be silly. Don't be silly. You should be ashamed. Go to your room. Go to your room. You did your please leave Go me. to your room and stop disgracing leave this me. family. Hey!
But please drive carefully, okay? No problem. Philip, open the gate front with for me. Are you deaf? Open the gate. Where are you coming from? Where are you coming from? I am talking to you, you don't walk out on me. Where are you coming from? What right do you have to ask me that question? Who? <laughs> Wait a minute. My father? Who the hell are you again? As long as you remain in this house, you, I have the right to know your whereabouts. What do you mean, what, what right do I have? And who is that, that, that lunatic that dropped you off by this time of the night? Is, 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 is something wrong with him? Well, if you must know, the lunatic is my boyfriend. Deal with it. And listen, I am in this house because of your selfish political condition. You don't have any right to ask me where I went to. I am going to call him back to come take me back to where I am coming from. Since you won't have me, uh, don't, don't, don't touch my back. Don't come. Don't come. Just, you can go inside. Don't call now. Just go inside. Go and rest. You take this love for granted, you must pay. Cause the vacuum, where she covered, nobody can cover it. Yet. Oh, you see this vacuum. Please, I'm not in the mood for anything. You're not time. in the mood for what, Thomas? Why, why are you shouting? What? Because I've refused to speak all this while? You and your mother lied to my parents and I that you are divorced. That is exactly That what is, is not true. You sneak out all the time to go be with her. Now, let me ask you a question. Why are you coming back at this time of the night? What, what were you waiting for outside? I was receiving fresh air, that's why. That's not true, Thomas. Not true. You know what? You and I, we are done. I am fed up. I am too big for this kind of treatment. Idiot. First thing tomorrow morning, I am leaving this house. To hell with your dick. To hell with your dick. Look. This, I came prepared. Watch me satisfy myself tonight. Rubbish. To hell with your dick! And I'm leaving tomorrow. Don't, don't beg me. Don't even try it. I think you have to continue this job while I go. I don't think it's okay for you to go. I have a better idea. Which is? We are from the same agency. We can swap office. I can cook too. And maybe your guy might like my food. It's a nice idea. Mm -hmm. But do you think he will listen to us? Yeah. That's the problem. He will. I'll personally talk to him myself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You do that for me. Of course I will. Thank you. Uh, my dear. Something in this house is confusing me. What is it? Who is that Auntie Margaret? I don't know, but I'm suspecting something. What are you suspecting? The other day, Philip the Gateman was telling me something about her. It's like she's August for my wife, but they are no longer together. I see it. See, I suspect she is his first wife. I don't know. I'll find out from Philip later. He seems they are no longer together. Eh? If they are no longer together, what is she still doing here? Nah. Oh, Alan, why you ask Philip? You come and tell me. You understand? Right. Him can continue my work. Nah. Eh? This house, confusion everywhere.
You really want me to go? You can't, you can't even pet your wife and beg her not to leave. You can't get out of bed. Come beg your wife and ask her not to leave. You can't even pet me not to leave, Thomas. I believe you are an adult. You know what you want. You know how to feel, so go free. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. You never wanted me. It was your mother's making. But at the expense of my emotions, Thomas, I'll be fine. Not to worry. I'll be fine, Thomas, and I will leave. Life goes on. But be rest assured that for all the maltreatment you gave me, I will report you to my father. You can't even... Men like you come to their wives, beg them, beg them not to leave. This is you pressing your phone. You are Carlos. You are Carlos, Thomas. You are Carlos. And it was me you found. Open this book. Open it. What's going on? Oh, please do not call me by that name again. You knew your son doesn't want me. Why did you drag me out from the comfort of my father's home? Why? Only to be ridiculed. Oh, I Christ. don't understand what you're talking about. Swear you do not know. Swear you do not know that your son has been treating me like some some piece of shit. Am I that worthless? Can you just calm I'll down? Never be Okay, like calm this down. in my life. Okay, calm down. I'm going to go inside and talk to him. Okay? Oh, not to worry. I am done. You do not have to go in there to talk to anyone. I am done with this, with this mess called marriage. Please calm down, please. Ah! Oh, do not talk to me. Do not feel behind me. Do not talk to me like that. You will hear from my father. Come, listen. Come, oh, listen. Oh, we can shut this out. Open the gate. 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 Are you stupid? Sorry, ma'am. Thomas! Thomas! Tom! What are you still doing here? I thought I asked you to leave. Take. Leave! Please, sir. I'm trying to beg you for something. What is it? Sir, both of us can change office. I'm a good cook too. And maybe you like my food. I don't like your food. I won't like your food. I know the food that I like. So don't tell me that. Now, if you want to stay in this house as a maid, fine. But if you want to live with him, that's okay. You are driving me insane! What is all this? Please, I need peace. You take this love for granted, you must pay. I think the MD is going through a lot. He is losing concentration in business. Yes, I, I suspect a marital issue. Yes. He broke up with Margaret. What? They are officially divorced. This is serious. Yes. Oh my yes. God. I wouldn't know why he chose to bring his mother into that house. Mm -hmm. What is that woman doing in that house? Exactly my point. She has succeeded in breaking this marriage now. Yes! She should go back to her husband's house. What is she doing there? Eh? Or she should go back to uh, abroad where she came from. Good day. Hi. Nothing can be more harmful in marriage than a mother-in-law living with her daughter-in-law. The truth is that two captains cannot steer a team at the same time. Yes! Ah! She should go back to abroad. What is she? Eating fire. 
Ah. Between husband and wife. Ha! Ah. Witch. 3D witch. So you have succeeded. You have succeeded in using your witchcraft to make my son send away that classic girl from a very decent and dignified home that I got for him to marry. You have succeeded. It won't work. It will not work. I am going to Oh, make shut this... up, please. Shut up. You didn't put, oh, you didn't use witchcraft, but you put a spell on him. What's the difference? I did not use a spell either. Really? Now listen to me. I don't blame you. It is myself I blame for allowing you stay in this house. I suggested it, that you stay on after the divorce. Well, that's not anymore. It's not going to happen anymore. So go in there, pack your things and get out of my house. Now you listen, I am going to make this clear. You've had so much joy trying to cause me pain in this house, my husband's house. No, but I won't beg you. I would leave. Oh, get out. Who's asking? I'm saying leave. You're still standing there. Get out. Rubbish. You have no place in this house. No place. Tell me what man in his right senses will, will chase away a girl like that and settle for a poor, a poor thing like you. Rubbish. Bia, who is there? Who is there? You take her love for granted. You go there. You take this love for granted. You must pay. Cause the vacuum. Where she covered. Hello, Philip. What? Okay, 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 listen, listen. Do not open the gate for her. On no account should you open the gate. Did you hear me? Make sure you keep her there till I come. One month you got divorced from your husband, you already have a lover. That means you have been sleeping with the guy all the while. You have been cheating on my son. Get out. Get out. Get out. Go to the cheap thing. You both belong together. Man, you are leaving. Get out. Get out. If you touch that bag, I'll slap you. Please come back. Please. Get out. I don't, I don't want to push you. Can you just leave? Don't make me push you. What? You're staring at me. What are you going to do? Fight me? Useless girl. That's the guy that befits you. Rubbish. 
I'm going to wait here and make sure that she gets out of this in fact this entire environment. Am I coming with you? What's wrong with help I can go? Thomas! Thomas! No mom, wait! I'm coming! Thomas, come back here! How did he know? Ma? Who called him? I don't know. Who told him what was going Ma, I, on I, here? I, I, I don't know, ma. You do not know. So how did he know? Ma, he came for lunch. He came for... Is, is it time for lunch yet? Brunch. Is it time for lunch? Ma, 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 maybe it's brunch, ma. Eh, you see, all of you that do not want anything good for my son, all of you would have to leave this premises. All of you. Ma, 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 Shut ma. up! Lock my gate. Yes, ma. What is wrong with you? What in God's name is wrong with you? Yes. And what gave you the right to hit my boyfriend? He has no right coming to my house to pick my wife. Is he mad? Is something wrong with him? Listen, listen. You better bring your voice down. You do not have a wife. I do not have your time because I have more important things to do. Okay, okay. Can you just, just calm down? Let's talk about this thing. And What other important things are you talking about? More important than me? Really? Yes. Please remind me again. Who are you? From the... I'm your husband. Uh, did I hear you say husband? No, excuse me. Did I hear you say... Tom, take a good look at me. Look at my fingers. Does it look like I am still married or do I have a husband? If I'm not, don't do this to us now. <laughs> don't do this to us. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Listen, I know that I have hurt you in the ways that is beyond description. I'm, I'm sorry for all the all the humiliating words that I've said to you, all the embarrassing moments that has. I'm sorry. Please don't leave. Now you're apologizing. I, what happens afterwards? I, 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 I want us to go back to the way we used to be as husband and wife. I, I, I want us to, you know, forgive each other okay there's nothing for me to forgive you of you are the one who needs to forgive me so that we can you know revive our love for the sake Tom, of Tom, our Tom, children please. please can you just stop already as you can see i have a boyfriend a new man he loves me and i love him deeply we are getting married your mother didn't even want me to be with you in the first place so why don't you just leave me alone so i could have my peace please just forget about my mother Fine, I, I was the one who soiled our marital vow by bringing in another another woman into her marriage and soiled our marital vow. But please, let's not allow strangers into our marriage. Let them not destroy the things that we've built together. Please, don't leave me. The vacuum that you, you have created in my life is so huge. There's no woman that can take your place. I know it now. Tom. Babe. I feel nothing for you anymore. Please don't say that. I love my man and I love him deeply. Please don't say that, babe. Please. Goodbye. Please, babe, please don't. Don't leave me. Please, if you leave me, I, I will die. I'm, I'm dying. I'm you dying. are dying. Yes, babe. You are dying. Please don't leave me. This should be the very first and last time you would come after me. I do not want to see you anywhere around me. The next time you come an inch close to me, I'll call the police on you and make sure you rot in jail. Rubbish. And let me make this clear. The next time you touch my man, huh, you won't like the end of it. I'm sure your mother wouldn't like that as well. Babe, babe, please wait. Go and get that luggage for me. Ma? I said get my luggage. Come here. Your, your luggage? Are you stupid? Go and get my luggage! Excuse me. Open this boots, please. Bye, bye. 
Babuli? Yes, I am. I'm leaving this house for you people. I'm leaving so you all can continue with your nonsense. Tell your boss that I've gone back to my base. Huh? Ma, please don't go. Ma, will you come again? I hope this guy has AC. Put it on, put it on. Put it on now. You take her love for granted, you go pay. You take this love for granted, you must pay. Cause the vacuum, where she cover, nobody can cover it yet. Oh, you see this vacuum. Hey, where she cover? Nobody can cover it all for you. So be careful. Be careful. Open your eyes. Open your eyes. it. What God has given to you. So be careful. Be careful. Open your eyes. You shed your life. What God has given to you. So be careful. Be careful. What kind of mess up is this? How can I make this kind of stupid mistake? Losing my precious ornament in pursuit of pebbles. Who, who does that? I mean, what kind of a thing is that? Oh. Mm. You take her love for granted. God, you know I don't disturb you always, but please, I've come to ask you one thing. I, I, I know I don't deserve it, I know, but please, just do this one thing for me and I will never disturb you again for the rest of my life. Please bring my wife back. Please. I am. I'm. I'm. I'm, I'm really sorry. I don't know what came over me. I was. I was. I was out of my mind. A, a lot of things was just clouding my judgment. I'm sorry too. No, 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 no. There's nothing you should be sorry about. I, I was the one who offended you in every way. I, I hurt you. I abused your emotion. I underestimated your effort in the house. You took care of me very well. It's not my lover. Your mother actually walked up to me that very day. Margaret, I just came to let you know that my son's new wife will be coming back tomorrow. <laughs> Finally, I got a befitting wife for my son. You already know why you're here, don't you? Just make sure you keep your part of the bargain. Do you understand? As far as I'm concerned, you're like a refugee in a foreign land in this compound. So don't you, I repeat, don't you ever give my daughter-in-law the impression that you're still married to my son. Am I clear? Am I clear? I heard you. Good. That night was the worst night of my entire existence. I couldn't sleep. I mean, how could I? 
knowing that another woman is finally coming to take my position. I later encouraged myself and had my own plans too. But sister, why would I pretend to be your boyfriend when you are my cousin sister? Listen, this is not something we can talk about right now. But it's very important. It's for the good of my marriage. See, I, I need to save my marriage. So, how do we go about this now? Um, it's not an issue. I have everything all planned out already. My husband gives me money at the end of every month. He also pays in money into my account every week for my upkeep. All you need to do is just to get me a list of everything you need for the exercise. I will make the money available. I just, I need you to look good. I need my husband to be jealous when he sees you. Okay. Oh. Chinedu, mm -hmm. it's not a matter of okay. I need you to put in effort. I've heard you. I'll do it for you. Thank you. You're welcome. It means a lot to me. You're welcome. So you send me your account number so I could forward you some money. And also, don't forget to send the list as well. So I'm going to do that. Alright, so we need to leave, okay? Alright. You know, all I wanted was just to see the face of the woman that... that was going to take my place. That was why I stayed outside. Because I knew I had nothing doing outside. I just had to take a call. I wasn't actually talking to anybody that day. Yes! I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm not just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just. I, know, I was just thinking to myself, who could that be? I mean, she doesn't have any friends. She doesn't, she doesn't stay talking I, to anyone on the phone. I was only fighting to be strong. And you won the war. I wouldn't have given you up for anything. I never wanted a divorce. Wait a minute. This is shocking. You know, your husband made it look like you both had a mutual agreement to go for a divorce. I didn't want to leave permanently. <laughs> so now all I wanted was a break. I just wanted some time to myself. I know my husband still loves me. him too. The only problem we had was his mother's presence in the house. And that was the reason I decided to take a short trip to my father's house. Because I knew that once his mother left, he would come looking for me. My husband cannot live a day without me. It's so sad that she that she was able to use that avenue to to achieve her long evil plans. So you don't want a divorce? I don't want it. Sonia, I still love my husband. I don't want a divorce. It's okay, all right? That's okay. Listen, I'm going to help you. You won't get a divorce, okay? Thank you. Thank you so much, Sonia. Thank you. Please. I love my husband. I know. Can, can you stop crying? I'm crying. Please, just pull yourself together, okay? What was, what was that thing I signed? <laughs> Mom, your husband was here the other day and then uh, he already signed the document. So you need to sign. Listen, 
here too. Um, but you promised there wasn't going to be any divorce. Listen, without a court degree, this is just nothing but a men's certificate. Yeah. He will need a proper court decree to make it official and legal. So, even with you signing this, without a proper court decree, you are still not yet divorced. Trust me. Sign. So where do I sign? Ah, just in case. That's fine. All right, got you. I know. So. You were only parading yourself with a piece of paper that had no legal binding. There was never going to be a divorce. You know I messed up. I messed up everywhere. I messed up big time. I owe you a sincere apology. I was wrong. I hurt you. I was the one who, who brought brought in another woman I made love to her in our matrimonial bed I have committed a sacrilege that against you and against God can you ever forgive me? ever do you know they say to air is human. I forgive you. How can you even forgive me for all these things that I have done to you? Okay. But you see this thing that you have done? I will never take you for granted. Whatever you will do to me in the future, whatever, I forgive you. No, whatever it is, I, I don't care what it is, I forgive you. It's okay. What did I do to deserve you? I love you. go for your meat first. You know. You always go for your meat mm. before you start eating the food properly. The meat carries a taste of all the food. <laughs> <laughs> so I like to have the taste all at once. Bro. Really? Mm -hmm. I see. <laughs> you know, this is the aspect of you I really missed so much. Mm. Your cooking. I can't even... I can't even remember how I survived without it. Tell me more. I mean, how can one person be endowed with all this ability and beauty and everything? <laughs> thank you. You're welcome. And thank you for thanking me. Does that even make sense? Oh well, the Germans would say Danke Shay. Thank you. No one does the house as you. Now go there. <laughs> Thank you. Now go ahead and eat your food and it'll be a sports brat. Yes, no, I will. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> 
I was meaning to ask you, have you noticed that the MD has returned to his normal cell? That is because Margaret has returned to him. She did? Yes! After the divorce? There was no divorce in the first place. It was a mere camouflage between my wife and Margaret. It was not real. <laughs> we don't know women. <laughs> I'm so happy now. Mm. Believe me, their love will be operated in a higher frequency now. Exactly. Especially now that the mom has returned to the UK. Oh, she has gone back. Yes! <laughs> Everything is now moving on smoothly. <laughs> as it should be. <laughs> I wonder what she was doing there. Commanding, cook this, cook that. You know? So, what exactly are we celebrating? Hello. We are celebrating you, my wife. The one meant for me. My special gift from heaven. Mm. The only one that gets me. <laughs> <laughs> I really want to say thank you for letting things go, especially for forgiving my mom and I. I know, I know it's like a repetition, but I don't want to get tired of saying thank you because what you did was superhuman. You see, in my quest to becoming a member of the House of Assembly, I contested twice and twice I failed but you my priceless Joel the only one that really loves me for me <laughs> my good luck charm oh. my precious spell you <laughs> contested once and you won voila congratulations again thank you I am so happy thank you very much and I love you that is a <laughs> <laughs> Mom! Congratulations, my darling. Thank you. Mom. I am so proud of you. <laughs> so proud. Thank, Thank you. you once again. Thank you. Mom, Mom, I thought we talked about this. It. Yes, it's we fine. did. I just can't help it. I mean, I, I okay. have been such. Uh, you deserve it. Mom, mm. Mom, Mom, mm. it's okay. Mm. We are fine. I am happy. My husband is happy and you are happy. I love you, Mom. Oh, so much. Can I have a glass? Yes. Definitely. As a matter of fact, you should have mine. I'll get another one. Are you sure? Don't worry, I'll get it. I know. No, no, no. A man's age does not make him grow. But how he handles things How he handles things A man must be defined By his priorities Not by his desires Cause a real man Make his wife Feel like a priority Cause a real man Feel like a priority and not an option. She's not an option. She's not an option. Not an option. For making her to cry. She's not.